This is Alex and we're back with another episode of CC Tips and Tricks. In this series, we answer some frequently asked questions from our customers from around the region. This week's question comes from a customer in Australia and they want to know, how do you impose jobs with variable page counts? When you work with variable data printing, you would usually compose the data into a PDF file before sending it over for imposition, printing and finishing. This is straightforward if all your records have the same number of pages and your imposition software will select a fixed number of pages to do the imposition and finishing. However, when it comes to jobs with different numbers of pages per record, it becomes more complicated. The usual process would be to compose each record as a separate file and then doing imposition for each file separately. This is definitely a time waster if you're working with many records. It's a good thing then that we found a shortcut to this process. Instead of composing the file as a PDF, we'll compose it as PDF-VT. PDF-VT is a PDF file format specifically for variable data printing. The V and T actually stand for variable and transactional. Transactional printing as we've shown before is a common type of variable data printing job. With this process, we can see that we will output all entries as a single file and the imposition software will be able to read the number of pages per record and do the imposition and finishing accordingly. Let's take a look at how it works. In our VDP software, we're using Fusion Pro VDP Creator. You can see the file that we're working with. We want to create a booklet for each individual record. We'll select Compose and in Composition Settings, we'll select PDF VT as the output format. We'll then go ahead and compose the file. With this done, we can see that we've got a single PDF file with all the entries. This looks normal, but if we head over to our imposition software, we'll see the difference. We drag the file into Fiery Command Workstation and select Impose. Here we can see that the software automatically reads the number of pages per set. With this, all we need to do is select our imposition template and it will create a booklet layout for each individual record. We save this and then go set the media and finishing and then we're ready to print. From our preview, we can see that the individual sets have been imposed based on the number of pages per set. Hopefully today's video helps you to increase your productivity when working with variable data prints. If you'd like to see more productivity tips, like this video and leave a comment in the comment section. Well that's all for today, as usual remember to subscribe and I'll see you soon.